Hi, I'm Raya. And I'm Brandon. And you're watching More Love with R and B. Yeah. Yeah. And today we are going over our top TV couples. Yep. Married couples. Right? Yep. Yes. So we're looking at couples that we have enough time or just enough time of them being married on screen. Yeah. So just a little disclaimer, this is our personal list yes. of the TV married couples that we enjoyed watching. Absolutely. We also want to say that we are not um, liking any personal actors or actresses. Correct. We are liking the actual characters. So we're going to start yeah. with number eight. Doug and Carrie Heffernan. <laughs> yes. That's such a last name. No offense to anybody with the last name Heffernan. <laughs> no offense at all. So if you Heffernan. ever watch King of, King of Queens, this is a really funny television <laughs> yes. couple. And what I like about them, because I'm not going to explain the whole show. Sure. What I'm going to what I'm going to say that I like about them is they kept each other laughing. They joked. They use comedy to lighten the mood. And I think yes. that that's sometimes very important in a marriage that you can Absolutely. laugh at yourself, that you can laugh with one another. Do you laugh with me? I do. <laughs> <laughs> you see that little... Yeah. Uh -huh. So that's why we like the Heffernan. Yes. <laughs> Number seven. Number seven. Phil and Vivian Banks. Yes. 1.0. 1.0. Okay. The first Vivian. Don't not, don't not play. Again, no shade to the second Vivian, but like let's just be real. Like the real Aunt Viv is the first one. So yes. Yeah. So we. Oh my gosh. So rest in peace to James Avery. Mm. We love Philip and Vivian Banks because they went through a lot of struggles together. One of the things I like about the fact that when you know they tell their story about being in Bel Air. It always has like this, um, like reminder in the storyline that like they came from like really hard times mm -hmm. and they protested a lot. They were activists and they moved up in the the judicial system, if you will. He was a judge. She was a lawyer, so that they could actually make real change. So number six. Oh yes, Carl. And Harriet Winslow. Yes. Yes, indeed. We got our kids hooked on watching Family, Family Matters. Matters. Oh my yes. Gosh, yes. What I like about them is they're just an average couple. Yes. They're, you know, they're not rich. They're not poor. They're like an average middle, middle, middle class, income, middle class yeah. couple. Mm -hmm. But everything was centered around the family mm -hmm. and um, they didn't have anybody or anything come in between the family unit. It was always going to be about family because right. cause family matters. <sighs> did you really just do that? I did. Okay. <laughs> Next we have a, number five. Jim and Pam Halpert. So the one thing that I love about Jim and just like the way that he looks at Pam, like you can see that she sees how much he loves her when she's looking at him, look at her. Do you, does that somewhat make sense? It'll so, that. Yeah. So he's very intuitive. He's very into and connected yeah. to his wife. And so she... You can see that she feels all that, but he doesn't just expect that from, he doesn't just expect her to love him. Like he pays attention. And so let that be an encouragement to all you dudes, like pay attention to your wives because Jim is like on it, dude. I love Absolutely. how detailed he is with his gifts to her. Mm. Um, the things that he just notices everything about her and yeah. she appreciates that. So. You know, kudos to them, and they're very sarcastic and hilarious. I love it. So, yeah. All right, moving on. Number four. James and Florida Evans. <laughs> so, um... Scratching and survive. Okay, I'm sorry, I can't. No. Okay. Okay. Scratching and survive. So, unlike 
Uncle Phil and Aunt Viv, who are upper class, mm. and um, Carl and Harriet Winslow, who are middle class. Mm, um, I didn't notice this. Mm -hmm. Very nice. <laughs> mm. James and Florida Evans are low class, and yet and still, they relish in the good in the good times. Um, <laughs> they don't allow their um, less than means, if you will, dictate their love for one another. And mm -hmm. I mean, times are rough, but um, one thing, Florida Evans, she got her husband's back. Yes, she does. Okay. And she will work hard for him and for the family, and he will work hard for his family. And I just love, I love that. Like, we can be rich mm -hmm. and good. We can be middle class and good. But look. Richer or poor, we're gonna be good. And I think that James and Florida are a good example of what it looks like for that poorer aspects of the vows. Agreed. <laughs> <laughs> that we can still be good. We can still have a fulfilling marriage. Very much even so. Even when chaos is around us. Yep. Yes, indeed. No All right. Number three is Dwayne and Whitley Wayne. Why? Wine. <laughs> so we've been like hooked back on a different world. Yeah, we've actually we're in the middle of watching it now. Yes, we are. It's on Amazon Prime. Go check that out. <laughs> um, he, oh gosh, like where do you start with them? Like we're seeing the beginning stages of this now, but one of the things that we love about their their relationship is we all might not agree that if we had a wedding and somebody interrupted it that it would be all that romantic, especially if we were getting left at the altar. Like none of us would be cool with that. However, for the sake of art and TV, watching Dwayne uh, just pursue his love for Whitley by stopping her wedding to Byron <laughs> was like, I think like probably one of the most romantic it really was. times in television. Like it was nuts. If there is any man who can show just cause while they may not lawfully be joined together, let them now speak or forever hold their peace. <clears throat> I will. Will you? Bless it on those who ask the questions, brother. Whitley, oh. I love you, and if you'll have me, I want you to be my wife. What the hell are you doing? Hey, I'm sorry, Byron, I love her. Die, just die. Let him go, man. Will you have me, Dwayne, as your lawfully wedded husband from this day forth to having a home in richer, for poorer? Baby, please, please. I do. So, and I mean, you know, they, they went on and, you know, they had their issues and they worked through them and they've always just been very upfront with each other and they come from very different worlds. Hey. Yes. Good job. So being that they come from two different worlds um, and they still connect on the level that they do is amazing. Their love for each other was so strong that Dwayne just could not bear to see her get married to Byron. Why are you? <laughs> Number two. Number two. And we're going to stress oh, gosh, that we are in love this. with the TV characters. Cliff and Claire Huxtable. Yes, indeed. Now, you can hate all you want to about the person portraying Cliff, but when you watch Cosby Show, yes. you cannot help but fall in love with the parents, Claire and Cliff. Right, and I think most of us did. You know, of course, the recent stuff is extremely disappointing. Yeah. But if we're honest, we all loved how Claire and Cliff interacted with her kids as it pertained to their marital connection. He showed that he would still date his wife. Yes. I right. mean, we even have a, a video 
mm-hmm. called The Importance of Dating. Yes. And I feel like that applies to all married couples, mm-hmm. no matter how long you've been married. Agreed. Yeah, so we're going to move on to our honorable mention. Yeah, we don't want to go to number one just yet. Not just yet. <laughs> so, all right. The first honorable mention we have is Ross and Rachel. Yeah. So the second one that we're going to mention is <laughs> Martin, Martin and, and Gina, Gina Payne. <laughs> our last honorable mention before we get to our top married couple is Zach and Kelly. <laughs> yeah, so... This is like one of his favorite shows. <laughs> yo, and, and here's the thing. So anybody think they can catch me on Save by the Bell trivia, like, come for me. Like, I send for you now with this video. Like, come for me. <laughs> I'm fine with it. I know way too much. It's really <laughs> unnecessary and ridiculous. But honorable mention to those three couples. All right. Are you guys ready for the number one TV couple in our in our opinion? <laughs> okay, I can't do the drum. <laughs> Are you going to say it or am I going to say it? You can say no, it. No, you can say it because I've said all of them. Just tell them. Randall and Beth Pearson. Yes. Okay, so first of all, this couple reminds me of us. Yes. Oh, gosh. I love the sarcasm always portrayed between them. I mean, they are always sarcastic with one another. But what I love is that Beth holds her husband down. Even when she don't agree with some of the stuff that he does, some of his choices, She's going to hold him down, and mm-hmm. nobody can say nothing about right. it. Now, in behind closed doors, she may question him, <laughs> him and kind of <laughs> tell him what he will and what. <laughs> Which is funny, because you know? as strong as Beth is, Randall still holds it down and will be like, no, Beth, this is what I think we should do. This is what we're going to do. Okay, and I don't want to hear any more about it. I need you to ride with me. We good on that? You gonna ride with me? I'll see you later. And like he kind of makes an exit because <laughs> I don't think he really wants that. He don't want nothing, nothing to do with that. So, kudos to Randall and Beth Pearson for yeah. making our number, number one, one spot on Absolutely. our best TV married couples list. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. Mm-hmm. Um, if you think we got it right, mm-hmm. then let us know. Give well, give us a thumbs up, but also let us know in the um, comments below if you think that our order was correct or if you would have added someone mm-hmm. to the list. Let us know. Yes, let us know. So we thank you guys for watching. Don't forget, if you enjoyed this, to go ahead and subscribe and yeah, please. hang out. And you'll see some more videos that we've done. And we hope that you click on those and enjoy those as well. Yeah. All right. Thanks, guys, for watching.